Hi friends, we start to learn here uh, two important concepts in the database management system. Uh, one is decomposition, another one is uh, dependencies. Decomposition, this is relevant to the redundancy. Basically, in the earlier earlier videos, we have seen that redundancy, what exactly. But once again, we look at, uh, before doing this decomposition and dependency, we need to understand one basic example here. There is a relation R, look at this is the relation R, uh, it, uh, in relation we can assume that this is the relation or a table R. It contains some data of a student information and course joined by student. Here look at a student number 0011001 whose name is this and his address is this. He joined the course C001 and the name of the course is C++. Similarly the same student has joined in the course C002 which name is this. Like here, look at into the another three, these look at here, this student 1002 whose address name is this and who has joined three courses and this is the course information. But here look at this information is has been repeating many times. This indicates a, a redundancy. So, Basically, a database contains this redundancy. We need to be eliminate that we normally use this decomposition procedure with the help of these dependencies. So, we are going to be learn here this uh, dependency, how to uh, decompose it and how what are the dependencies. Look at here the decomposition. Decomposition indicates relation R or maybe any relation can be decomposed or divide into decompose or divide into several relations. We need to be divide a relation into several relations. That is the basic meaning of this decomposition. And why we need to do this decomposition? The basic aim of this decomposition or basic goal of this decomposition is eliminate redundancy. I already explained that what exactly redundancy. So it means we need to decompose that relation R. It contains a redundancy. So we need to be decompose it into several relations. Assume that this is we already uh, decided that we call it as name R. So this R can be divided into R1 and R2 need to be decomposed. Here basically I am explaining you but there are different, several procedures are there to uh, decompose but basic, uh, basically I am explaining you here this decomposition. Assume that the student information we are going to be maintain here as one table. It contains student ID, shortcut form I am writing here and S name, student name and address. This is the one table which we or one relation which we called um, R1 and the same another relation can be divided here as course ID and this is uh, the course name. So, it contains C001 which uh, course is called C++, C002 which course is called Python, similarly another course C003 uh, which is called Java like this. This table contains course information. So, this table contains student information who is the student joined name of the student is this and his address is this like this we can able to um, showing in the R1 and R2 two different tables are getting from R. So this is the meaning of a decomposition but in this process you can do the decomposition okay there are problems with the decomposition basically after decompose the relation into several relations we need to be reconstruct it or you can combine them. We may not get the original uh, relation is the one basic problem in this decomposition and importantly we need to be look at two things. One is whenever you need to be decompose there is chance to information loss and dependencies and look at first the information loss if you need to divide into two or more relations then we need to be combine again there is chance of some information loss. So we need to be decompose lossless it means a lossless decomposition we need to do it 
and dependencies. Every relation normally it contains several dependencies. So those dependencies we need to be preserve them. So in this video we can also learn uh, what exactly the dependencies. In the database management system naturally it contains uh, several dependencies. Let us look at here what are the dependencies. The basic uh, dependency is functional dependency. So we need to understand what exactly the meaning of this. Let us assume there is a relation R. It contains, uh, there are different attributes. Assume that the attribute names are uh, A, B, C, D. Of course, it contains different uh, information. It contains several records. Look at here, the functional dependency indicated with the arrow of this. And I can represent it with a predicates like A, B, C, functionally dependent, functional dependent symbol and D. So this is indicates a functional dependency of this relation R. So we can assume that there is a relation R contains a functional dependency A, B, C derives D. What is the meaning of here? Indicates that A, B, C, D are the attributes in the relation A, B, C, D. So it indicates that a attribute D is functionally dependent on A, B, C. So it means that D is an attribute is functionally dependent on attribute A, B, C. So here it meaning of basically the functional dependency is the functional dependency is two types. One is full functional dependency, another one is partial functional dependency. So in this case of dependency, first I explained you here that functional dependency indicated that the attribute D is functionally dependent on A, B, C. This is functional dependency. So in the classification of functional dependency full and partial, let us understand what exactly full, de full functional dependency. So in this case of functional dependency, the dependency is the attribute D should not dependent on any subsets of this ABC. Like what are the subsets of ABC? For example, AB is the subset and BC is the subset and AC is the subset. This D should not dependent on any of subsets of this. Example, AB derives D. D should not again dependent on B and A or any subset. So then we can say this dependency is full functional dependency. In other case, for example, this A, B, C is derived D, D is functionally dependent on A, B, C, A, B, C. It also functionally dependent on A, C, D is also functionally dependent on A, C. Then we can say this is partial functional dependency. So there is a clarity in this functional dependency. One is full functional dependency, another one is partial functional dependency. It indicated that if a functional dependency A, B, C derive D, D is functionally dependent on only A, B, C, but does not depend on any other subsets, then we can say A, B, C derives D is full functional dependency. In the partial functional dependency, in the same A, B, C, a D is functionally dependent on A, B, C, but also dependent on any subset of this A, B, C, A, C, D is dependent on A, C, for example, D is dependent on BC. So this may be is there in the dependency, then we can say this is called partial functional dependency. So the dependency indicated here that any of the attribute is dependent on other attributes. Normally in this case of functional dependency, non-key attributes are functionally dependent on key attributes is the basic idea in this functional dependency. Transfer dependency. The transfer dependency is a dependency which is having on a relation R, which is having a relation R. It contains the attributes of A, B, C, D, for example. Assume this is a relation R. A transfer dependency it can be a, given an example here. Consider an attributes in the relation A, B, C, and there is a dependency A derives B and again B derives C. Transfer dependency makes it possible. Look at in this case B is functionally dependent on A 
and C is functionally dependent on B. So there is a transfer dependency exists between AC. So if C is transitively dependent on A. So in the same relation R, there is existing of transfer dependency. It indicates like same A is dependent on B. B is again dependent on C. Automatically C is or transitively dependent on A. So this is one of the important uh, dependency might exist in the uh, relations. So in this presentation, we understand very basic uh, dependencies. One is uh, functional dependency and another one is a transitive dependency. In the next video, we will learn about other dependencies also. Thank you.